Hey, welcome back to Magic City Entertainment. Hopefully, you guys are doing great today. So, today, I wanted to bring you guys my thoughts on Invincible, the first season. Um, yeah, this show was absolutely fantastic. There were so many key moments in this series that just was outstanding it, it literally this took me by surprise i knew robert kirby was great with his comics and everything but man invincible takes it to a whole nother level there were some things i didn't like i want to go ahead and get those out of the way for one i didn't really like um i didn't really like how mark's progression was throughout the tv show it it seems like uh, is more more of his growth is gonna happen maybe either off screen or in season two i feel like mark has so much potential and and it, and it didn't they didn't give us all his potential so i'll be honest mark was a he was kind of a letdown honestly of all the characters that were there that were introduced mark seemed the most let down to me you know like so okay i want to give you guys a little quick backstory of um the whole story and everything um this is spoiler free i'm not going to spoil anything for you guys i will have a spoiler discussion after this video but um so mark is a high school student trying to come into his own as a superhero and everything and He's trying to live up to the expectations that his father has set for him, basically. And the expectations are basically extremely too high. Like, the whole show is pretty much Mark going up and down, up and down, up and down. Like, we'll have a good episode, and they'll have an episode where he isn't doing so good or everything. But apparently in the comics, everything that happened, happens after the last episode that they aired. I didn't even know but honestly the pacing from this was very good nothing felt rushed it that's the crazy thing there's only 10 episodes well, no I'm sorry I think it was eight eight to ten I can't remember exactly but it's short but it's short and sweet it's not nothing felt rushed at all Mark did have character development which was pretty pretty good um his father army man had the most character development out of everybody in the show and then his mom also his mom his mom was a key role in this show basically you know she was like the balance for mark and his dad pretty much and it was a, it was a nice touch they added to it too you know because it shows that family still matters even though they're superheroes basically and um there was a lot of a lot of good moments between him and his mom a lot of good moments between um the mom and uh army man it, it was really good honestly overall um also amber wasn't a fan of her especially towards the last episode really wasn't a fan of her um i'll get more into that um later but um yeah was not a fan of her at all um, then you have all these other heroes as well. There was, um, you have the Guardians of the Globe, and then later on, you almost have the, like some new Guardians of the Globe, basically. And uh, these Guardians of the Globe are like, they're like I wouldn't say they're a ripoff of uh, Justice League, but they're kind of ripoff of the Justice League. So you have one guy who's kind of like Superman. You have one girl that's like Wonder Woman. You have, was it Nightwing? Nightwing was Batman. Red Rush was Flash. Then you had um, this one. Who, he was literally like the um, the Martian Manhunter. And then there was this one girl who was like all green. And her power was like go through like walls and stuff like that thing. I can't remember exactly what her powers were, but it was something like that. So they were basically a wannabe Justice League. But it, were, it was dope. Like the, it was dope how they did everything though. 
Um, the fight scenes were great. Actually, the fight scenes were really good. Um, very pleased with it. I honestly didn't think this was going to be as brutal as it was. Because when you watch the trailer, it doesn't show that much. Honestly, it leaves you kind of guessing. Like, oh, what is this? You know, because you're thinking, oh, this is probably like, I want to say it's for kids. Definitely not for kids. But you're probably thinking, oh, this is probably like um, Young Justice, basically, right? Or a Justice League. Nope. Mm -mm. None of that. There's, there's a lot of blood, honestly. I didn't expect it to be just bloody and gory. Um, it's not extremely, well, it's bad. I'm not, I'm not even going to hold it. It's kind of bad. But it fits the way that they're, they're, um, the way they have it set, which is good because the way it flows and rolls, it's perfect for this type of show honestly um each character was very interesting mark ends up meeting this one guy in mars I forgot his name cool guy literally he literally only talked they only talked that was it and they only talked for like two two to five minutes and he was he was just super interesting like in most shows you find a character like oh i don't like that character all oh, that character is annoying i honestly didn't think there wasn't a character in the show that was honestly annoying to me besides amber but other than that i enjoyed everybody else you know you and then you have these other heroes these kids um there's a robot um there's this girl who can turn into a beast she's kind of like i would say like she's like hulk um then you have this one girl who's like they call her duplicate she can make clones of herself multiple people of herself um you have this one guy who um does like fire basically like bombs and stuff um you have eve she has powers where she can like change stuff with her powers and stuff it's pretty dope i'm saying each character they introduced was cool like no one felt like they were a, a bother basically you know and it was good there was a lot of a lot of great moments and a lot of sad moments and a lot of like oh shit moments like I'm going to tell you now, <laughs> at the end of the first episode, it's a oh shit moment. I'm going to tell you that now. But other than that, it, it was amazing. I enjoyed this show a lot. There was one thing that they did that really stood out to me was that, so as you know, the name is Invincible. So each time someone said that, it would, instead of actually still saying it, it would pop up as the crit, like the, the title, which was freaking dope. So they'll be like, I need him to be dun, 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 and it was just showing the incredible and I thought that was dope I really thought that was dope um yeah there was not this 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 show really took me by surprise this is probably one of the best Amazon Prime videos the originals they have that I've seen in a while they did a really good job with it I can't wait for season two because I know season two is gonna be lit it's gonna be even it's actually gonna be way better than season one um, I don't know. I don't know how they can top season one, but I'm pretty sure they can. But uh, with that being said, my final score for Invincible is a nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten. It was it was really good, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, a lot of the fight scenes were great. The interaction between Mark and his dad were really great because it shows that a father. And son being a superhero together but his dad did struggle with it a little bit because i'm think i think um he wanted his son to get it earlier you know but he got extremely late um the interaction the family interaction in general was really good the side characters were great even the side heroes that they had were really great the villains were good like everybody was good even this little there's um this guy named cecil he was great. His whole team was great. It just everything about this show was really good. Like there's not a there's not a lot to complain about. It was a really well done show for the first season. And I hope they continue that into the second season. But now this is a warning. This is a spoiler warning. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some spoilers here. So if you don't want to hear this, I do appreciate you. But you can leave. <laughs> if you wanna stay appreciate you even more <laughs> but anyway um yeah i want to talk about some spoilers here some stuff that really grinded my gears one was amber i mentioned earlier about her but i didn't want to get too much into it one thing i can say 
Amber was a nuisance. All right, so there was this moment where Mark ends up saving his best friend and them, but guess what? She was upset that Mark left, right? Mark had left because he had to make an excuse, you know, because he's invincible and everything, but she don't know that. So he asked, he, he made an excuse about, oh, you know, I went to find help and everything and stuff like that. She's like, no, no, no. You were not here when I needed you. Whoa, whoa, skip. whoa. Did you not just see this man fight somebody and save his best friend at the same time? Come on now. So later on, they get home. She dumps him. She dumps him. And you know what her excuse is? You never, you, you never, you know, here when you're here. You're like away all the time. You, you're always late, you know, stuff like that. And then he ends up telling her he's invincible. You know what she says? This is the wildest shit I ever heard. Oh, I knew you were invincible for like weeks. Wait, 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 what? You knew he was invincible for weeks on end? She was upset because he was lying to her. Bro, he's not going to tell you he's invincible. Like, I don't, I don't think they've been dating that long. Like, they've been dating, what, two, three months? Or some shit like that. Maybe, maybe longer than that. I don't know. But, come on. It's a secret identity type thing. He's not going to tell you right out the bat. Because how crazy would he sound? Two months in. Yeah, I got something to tell you. I'm invincible. What? You're invincible? What? Like, bro, come on. Really? Like, she going to take him serious. And the fact is that she knew he was invincible. So, she, you telling me, during that whole fight that they had. I'm going to put a picture up so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, during that whole fight, you telling me you upset because he's lying to you but when he just saved your life and his best friend's life, but you upset because he lied to you. He is a goddamn superhero. He is trying his best work with him, right? Oh, wait, this word gets better. This sweetens the deal, right? So towards the end, the last episode, Mark gets his ass beat and it... <laughs> That's my one problem with the show. Barney gets his ass beat in every fucking episode, man. Every episode. Like, yo, no one trained this kid how to fight. Omni Man's a badass right out the gate. But his dad not show him how to fight at all. Like, that whole training, I don't know what the hell that was. Mark got his ass beat every time. Literally every time. And at the end, his dad beat the shit out of him. I mean, when I say beat the shit, I mean, he beat the living hell out of this kid. Pounding this kid's face in. Pounding it in. And he ends up leaving. He just dips. He just dipped, honestly. He said, yo, I'm going to get some milk. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> he left. Um. So after everything that happened, Mark goes back. Guess who come knocking at this man's door? Amber. Talking about, oh, I saw everything. And then she kissed him and everything. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm like, wait a minute. Ain't you the one that said he was lying because he was a superhero, but you didn't want to be with him. Now you come crawling back to him now? Oh, no, nah, bro. That's messed up. That's messed up. I, was, I, I wasn't rocking with Amber after that. And again, I was rocking with Amber, you know, but now Amber got to go. <laughs> hey, I was, simping for, uh, I was simping for Mark and Eve to get together. I was. I think they'll be the perfect couple because they, they both superheroes. They both know the ups and downs. They can work with each other and everything. But nah, he chose Amber. You kidding me, bro? You kidding me? She became the most disliked character. I, I didn't like her. I didn't like her. I thought it was fake what she did. I really did. I thought it was fake, honestly. But um, what else? Oh, also, Mark. Great character. I, I like this character. He's cool. Dude needs to learn how to fight. We need to call Matt Murdock or something. We need to we need to call Superman or somebody. Come train this man how to fight because Mark don't know how to fight. In every episode, Mark has ass beat. Every episode, there was it was an episode where he almost died, literally almost died. Like yo, Army Man clearly didn't train, and it's crazy because his dad saw that shit happen. Dad watched it happen, bro. I think this was for his dad. Like, yo, that's his character development for my son. Didn't even help him. 
didn't even help him. What? It, it's wild. It's wild. I'm, I was like, are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah, like, that, other than that, man, it, it's a really good show. Honestly. I honestly think you guys should watch it, even though you stay for the spoilers. But other than that, enjoyable, enjoyable. Now, honestly, wasn't that much that I didn't dis- I disliked. More likes than dislikes, honestly. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Remember, stay amazing. Peace.